It's a beautiful, cool morning here on Galveston for Memorial Day. Memorial Day is kind of a somber day for me, kind of a quiet day. Back in its origins after the Civil War, it was called Decoration Day, and it was a time to go out to the cemeteries and to decorate the graves of those who had lost their lives in the Great War to save the country. A lot of, lot of confusion, a lot of sadness over that war, a war in which we lost more Americans than we've lost in all the other wars combined. We seem to be particularly good at killing ourselves, nearly 700,000. But what can we learn from our willingness to examine history? What we can learn is that it's a better thing to not go to war. It's a better thing to find ways of dealing with our differences that are peaceful in their resolution than it is to take up weapons and destroy. There are still great rifts in our country that go all the way back to the Civil War. They go back to slavery. They go back to the dehumanization of African Americans. When will we realize that all of us, regardless of the pigmentation of our skin, are human? When we devalue others, when we think that others are somehow not worth as much as we are, we can point to them and say, oh, look, that one over there, yeah, I'm, I'm so much better than they are. When we can do that, we can dismiss people. God does not call us to dismiss people. God calls us to love. Jesus, in his great new command, asked that we love one another as he had loved us. That's not an easy thing to do. Jesus loved us enough to give up his life for us on a cross. Can we give up our petty hatreds? Can we give up our xenophobia? Can we give up our concept that somehow we as a human being are worth more than some other human being? Those are really deep, really important things to think of. It's my hope that yes, we can. It's my hope that we can get beyond those differences between us and see the commonalities. Jesus spoke time and time again about love. He spoke time and time again about forgiveness. Those are the things that I think on this Memorial Day that might be the most important. Can we get past the point of needing to bear arms against one another and to carry instead love in our hearts? I ask this for all of us. Son and the Holy Spirit.